hollow tree. Hey everybody, welcome to Seriously Lighthearted Yoga. Today we're going to be doing a new pose or another pose. We did uh, one yesterday. What bridge pose. Bridge pose, that's what it was called. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And today is bow pose? Bow pose. Bow pose. Bow pose as yeah. in like bow and arrow. Yep. Kind of looks like one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, the idea. Don't so worry, guys. Kai, I'm going to get out of your way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is like level two. So bridge pose was level one if you want. This one is also going to help with posture and it's going to be a little deeper. But to start here, lie on your stomach. Feet out, arms out on either side. And then all you have to do, kind of the first level of level two, is to bring one leg up at a time, take hold of it with your hand, and then lift up, leaving the other side down, and then thinking here of lifting your chest up evenly, lifting that leg and arm up, and letting the effort come, I'm releasing here, just for a moment, letting that effort come from <clears throat> your backside, you're trying to pull it all up and then here on the other side just to keep it even again just releasing the other side down as you begin to work into it and then the full pose is to bring both feet up and just begin to lift off so eventually you're coming to the point where your your ribs are not really on the mat anymore and your most of your weight is in your hips as you pull your legs and arms and head up further, eyes forward, neck straight, and then release that. So guys, there are a few different levels of bow pose, remembering starting with the one side, then the other, and then you're eventually working up to the point where you're mostly on your hips, a little bit on the kind of the gut here, but <clears throat> your arms and legs can get to almost straight eventually <laughs> and that is a very advanced posture and if you think about it it's just the opposite of somebody say standing on the ground and then leaning back and grabbing their ankles <laughs> that's mm -hmm. what it can look like eventually mm -hmm. but for most of us we will not get there trying it though gives you a lot of benefit to your posture it works a lot of these back muscles that are inactive when you're sitting in a chair and not paying attention to them and it kind of wakes up that part of your body which gets forgotten so give it a try guys see what happens yeah give it a shot uh, be careful that when you're doing it in halves that you're doing it evenly for both halves otherwise you can definitely kind of kind of tweak your tweak your back if you're if you're working it unevenly so make sure that when you're doing it half at a time uh, sort of level one like I was saying that you just do it that you just do it evenly you know hold one for four breaths and the other release then do the other one the for same four level yeah. yeah absolutely so it's important just to keep it even if you're not going to do engage both legs um and both arms at the same time so just keep that in mind if you're going to do it uh, otherwise yeah it's a great pose give somebody a high five we'll see you guys tomorrow